What's up guys, it's Rich from Clash with RLF and today I'm going to show you some attacks um, from Castle Warrior versus RLF. Um, the first attack I was going to show you is by Deuce World and this one, this base, I think that a lot of people need to think twice before setting your infernos to single. It used to be really um, something that was pretty op, but even with the non-max switches, it was a base that was 3 starable when you had single infernos and now with the newer level witches, um, you're just asking to be witched. So I, it's made me rethink on defense what to do. I was just talking about it with Josh about whether or not to set both two double inf multi infernos or one of each. Um, just because the witches are so deadly and in clan war, if you're a Town Hall 11, you're most likely going to be attacked by Town Hall 11 and they're going to have max witches. So here, um, he's already made the hole where the Archer Queen's going to come in. It's a strategy that'll make her go around the base um, very nicely. Um, he's going to use the Rage spell to heal her up. Healers are pretty strong at healing. And now, I think she is going to, yes, so she's going to go around the base. So this is a really cool way of making the Archer Queen go around the base by making a hole in the wall. So he still has um, his ground troop to start. He's going to drop his wall breakers. Um, and then he's going to drop his golem. And the clan castle troop is going to come out. Um, still hard to see. It's interesting how people are st putting more and more ground troops with the um, dragon because it takes longer for the dragon to be pulled so you might end up wasting your poison spell and he's going to freeze one of the infernos so his queen doesn't die and then he finally drops his warden. So the warden can just hop over walls so it doesn't really matter where you drop it and he drops an earthquake and a jump spell so his clan castle can go to the center and under protection you want to use the warden's ability when everything is being attacked and save your troops and heal them up a little bit and now um, the town hall is down he already has the 50% um, I guess the healers are healing the barbarian king instead of the archer queen but it's okay the um, Single Inferno is really going to be distracted with the skeleton and now basically he has 75% of the base down and he still has witches and wizards um, which are still alive and wizards are so much stronger um, at um, attacking defenses and hopefully the skellies will just set off all the ground attack and this is just going to be really simple for him to finish. Um, I'm not really sure if the healers are healing the wizard or if the healers are healing the barbarian king, but they only have one army camp left and the archer queen will probably get there first. Um, so this was an awesome attack by Deuce World. Um, hope you liked it. Um, the second attack I'm going to show you is the one by um, Bray. He 93%ed a similar base, but this base doesn't have um, two single infernos and he doesn't have max witches yet so he does the same thing he drops his archer queen and then he drops the wall breakers to sort of direct the archer queen to the direction that he wants to she's going to take down the air defense so it doesn't attack the healers and the enemy archer queen is only at 21 so it's not bad he has a 31 and now she's going to start attacking the enemy archer queen and he uses the rage there so he doesn't have to use her um, royal cloak ability yet and then she's going to go around the base so as you see he still has four giants he's going to start the ground assault um, 
I'm not really sure where, but I had actually hadn't previewed this, but um, Deuce had kicked me and said that, that he had a three-star attack. Um, why don't I look at it? And I'm like, sure, of course I want to see it. So here are the Archer Queen's going to go around the base. And in the past, you would have had to start the ground attack around now, but with the extra time, you don't really need to. So it's really good for people who are doing AQ walk, even with the nerfed um, healers. I think um, up to four healers, it still isn't nerfed, so it's fine. And then he's going to drop his ground troops. Um, he's already taken care of most of the... Um, damage and he makes a little hole for the archer queen to go um, he's probably going to have to use a rage or her royal cloak ability and he chooses the royal cloak ability and he does his jump spell and he brought giants mainly because of the fact that they were single infernos on one side and giants are better for single infernos and I hate it when the archer queen no longer gets healed by the healers and the healers just go to the other side but um, maybe it was best because it's getting protected from the air defenses as the Archer Queen takes it down. And now he just has to get the Town Hall, but he has all those wizards that are going to take it. Um, he does not have the Warden's ability yet, but uh, it doesn't really matter. The Town Hall goes down. He already has 64%. And look at all those wizards who are still alive. Um, behind the golem and he's gonna rage it to help it go through the wall and His archer queen is gone. So his golem is able to rage out of the wall and he has some snipe team and This is just harder at this point because his only um, Hero that is surviving is his warden at level 3 its hit point is not that strong, but um, It's okay so the healers just keep healing the golem and the snipe team fortunately is able to take out some extra percentage points while it's being distracted and it's always a good thing to have some wizards behind if you, especially in this kind of attack um so let's see um and unfortunately maybe even for this attack he should have started the ground attack a little sooner because he ran out of time. It looked like he was going to three-star it pretty easily. And the last attack I was going to show you is Julius. He is such a great hogger. Um, so this is an anti-three-star base, but now with hogs, um, it's not really an anti-three-star. And it's interesting, his spell composition is very different than what Camping with Bucks uses. Um, I've never actually seen anyone use a haste spell, but he does get a max um, poison donated, which was something that we were talking about, how poison should be the spell that's being donated, especially if you're going to use earthquakes. But they're not using an er he's not using an earthquake. He's um, going to use a couple hogs to kill some defenses. Um, and it's going to actually pull the clan castle troop, which is just a lava hound. And he's able to take giant bombs there. His archer queen's going to be a little distracted with the hound, but he brought some wizards to help her um, destroy it. And um, he does have three wall breakers. And let's see what happens. He's going to probably just let the archer queen take care of it and keep the poison spell for the traps. And then he's going to start the ground attack, of course, where the Archer Queen is because you need to take care of the Clan Castle and the enemy Archer Queen. And he drops the Golem from the Clan Castle troop and he drops his giant Barb King. And it's interesting how they put the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen right next to each other. But he's able to take care of both heroes and he uses a haste spell to and his royal... Iron Fist ability to sort of haste his way through and then he's gonna drop his hogs and he's gonna heal them right where the splash damage and the expo is and then it's interesting that he uses a rage um, I just think that hogs go fast enough as is that you know heals probably would be better but 
I really can't complain when you get a three star attack on a base that's one higher than your mirror. So he has um, his archer queen has yet to use her royal cloak ability and she's just not even going to have time to help out with the cleanup because he has so many hogs alive um, that she's just going to get stuck at the walls while he takes down the base. So awesome attack by Julius Randall as usual. I hope you like this video and if you do please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And as usual, I really do appreciate you watching my videos and hope